Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I just want to go over installing EMB and Suite FX with your Left 4 Dead 2 game. Now the files that you'll need are available at Nexus Mods or ModDB, and I will leave a link under the video here in order to get the files. Now depending on whether you go to Nexus Mods, you'll just want to go to Files and Manual Download here. For ModDB, you just want to click on the Download Now. Now once you've actually downloaded the files, you just want to open that and you can minimize the browser. Now once you've opened the file, you want to open your game folder. Now there are two ways of opening the game folder. I'll show you the longer method first, which is this PC. C Drive, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. And you'll find your games are listed here. And then you would just open the game folder, the Left 4 Dead 2 here. Now the shorter method, which can be used for all your Steam games, is just open your Steam and go to your Steam library. Right click on the game that you want to open and say properties, local files, and browse local files. And as you can see, that takes you right to the game folder. Now, once you have the game folder open, all you're gonna do is drag and drop the contents from the download into the game folder here. And you're basically done at this point. You want to leave the game folder open and just close the file download here. And then what you want to do is start and test your game to make sure that it's running with the EMB and the suite effects. Now, if you do have any startup issues, such as the game crashes or it just won't start, then what you want to do is go back to the game folder here and you want to go into the Alt D3D9 folder here. And you can use one of the four alternate launchers in order to test the game with. And you would just copy it, and then you want to paste that over top of the existing one here in the game folder. And once you've done that, then restart the game and see if it's working properly with the new D3D9 DLL. If you still have an issue, just continue switching through them. Now the actual one that it's using is the generic which is compatible with almost all video cards but some video cards do require an alternate D3D9 for launching so just switch between those in order to test and find the correct one. Now one other thing that I just want to show you is the settings file here. Now the Sweet Effects settings aren't controlled by the settings text here. It's actually found in the Sweet Effects presets folder and you would change the Left 4 Dead 2 text here. That's the Sweet Effects settings file. Now otherwise you're all finished here with the game folder and you can close the game folder once you've verified the game is running. Now when the game is running, one thing that you want to do is you actually want to turn off the in-game anti-alias as that will cancel out your sweet effects effects. And what you want to do is when you start the game, you just want to go to your options, video and advanced and disable the in-game anti-alias. And then you'll find that the effects are working properly. Now, normally it's the pause break or the scroll lock for enabling and disabling your effects. You just want to test that. Now I believe for this one it's the pause break to enable and disable the effects. So otherwise you should be all set as far as the game goes. Now there is one other thing that I like to do with the game EXEs once I've actually added an EMB and Sweet Effects. So I'm just going to open up the game folder once more here and just show you how you do that. Now I will leave a link to the clean mem setup video if you want to add that to your 
actual system and once you've got the clean mem installed if you haven't installed it then what you want to do is just copy the game exe name here from the game and then you want to go to the clean mem and you want to start the clean mem settings wizard now if you followed the setup video then you'll already have your only list set up and what you do is with the setting wizard you'll just go through to that only list and then what you're going to do is click the plus and add the game exe name and just say OK. And you'll see it added to the list here and just click next and finish. And then it's all added to the clean mem program too. Once that's done, then you can close the game folder and just run the game normally. Now, if there are any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. I have made a gameplay video online to show that this is VAC safe, that I haven't had any VAC problems in the past or ever. So if you're concerned about that, as I do get asked that a lot, just check out that gameplay video. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.